Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hey guys, Veronica Belmont here at CES 2013, standing outside the convention center, and I am joined by Charlie here at the Lenovo booth, and we are looking at the Titano Boa. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Now, what is this constructed of? So this is a giant electromechanical snake. It's made of 20 custom welded aluminum vertebrae with hydraulic cylinders for the muscles and several microcontroller brains the length of the snake. Yeah. And how do you control it? So we control it wirelessly using a, kind of a controller box that so we can stand far away and then communicate with the snake's head which tells the rest of the body what to do. Yeah. And exactly how long is this snake? Uh, right now it's about uh, 40 feet long. We, we, took the, we snipped the tail off uh, just to, uh, for safety reasons because it was thrashing around. But um, yeah, so it's, it's 40 feet long now, but we're going to expand it to the full 50 feet of the, to really replicate the, this ancient snake that used to exist 60 million years ago called Titanoboa. So this is based on an actual creature? Yeah, so they found fossils for this thing in Colombia, and it used to exist uh, back in prehistoric times, and it went extinct because the climate cooled down, that's what they figure. So now they say the climate's warming up, so we're resurrecting this beast as a kind of a cybernetic organism or something. Yeah. Back to life, very cool. And now, so when you're driving this thing around, is it, is it, is it difficult to do, or does it kind of know exactly where it wants to go, or how does it control well? It's pretty tricky because you always have to keep an S shape. Like when you see snakes slithering, they're always in an S shape, right? So you can't just decide to drive and turn this way or turn that way. You always have to plan where your next swoop is going to be. And that gets a little tricky. It, it takes a while to get the hang of it. Now, what do you use this primarily for? Is this an educational tool? Is it just something for fun? Yeah, so this project was built 100% by volunteer labor. And it's all it was under the umbrella of the EDART Foundation, which is based in Vancouver, Canada. And what, what our mandate is, is to build huge, kind of really technically complicated projects. That's the uh, Mondo Spider in the background, in case you can hear it. Yeah, so we build projects like the Mondo Spider and Titanoboa that are really blend of engineering and art. And we try and touch on energy issues and showcase uh, battery electric technology and stuff like that. Yeah. I heard there's a saddle for it, but I don't see that it's saddled up right now. Is that true? Yeah, there is a saddle back at home. Yeah, we did. We took it off for this event. Um, sometimes pe random people just jump on it and go to town. But uh, yeah, that's the idea is you can kind of ride right behind the snake, the, end, the head of the snake and control it at the same time. So it'll be like a full on snake vehicle at some point. Yeah, that's like straight out of a fantasy book. That's really cool. Awesome. At CES 2013, I'm Veronica Belmont. For tons more videos, head over to revision3.com slash CES or youtube.com slash techhd. I really wish you brought the saddle. I really, that is just kind of heartbreaking. Next time. Okay. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.